In the time of Avatar Kyoshi, a unique technique emerged and vanished as quickly as it came, connecting earthbending strength with waterbending's grace and firebending's intensity. Learn how a forgotten art known as stepping transformed the elements into a path of boundless ascent, with origins tied to a legendary performance troupe and a future Avatar's destiny. 256 years before the time of Aang and the Air Nomad genocide, the Flying Opera Company was a menace in the Earth Kingdom. Initially led by Kiyoshi's parents, Jessa and Hark, the outlaw Daofei gang became Avatar Kiyoshi's devoted allies, forming her steadfast, quote, Team Avatar. The group at first concealed their illicit operations by posing as a traveling theater troupe, not unlike the rough rhinos in The Last Airbender who Iroh claimed were accomplished singers before turning to bounty hunting. The Flying Opera Company were great in number during Kiyoshi's parents' time, but waned over time, maintaining only minimal control over Chameleon Bay with just four remaining members, Lauga, who I talk about more in this video, Karima, Wong, and Le. When the company encountered Kiyoshi, the daughter of their former leaders, it marked a pivotal year for the company. While unaware of her avatar lineage at first, the outlaws embraced Kiyoshi and her friend Rangi, imparting Dao Fei wisdom and enlisting them in their endeavors. Over time, a profound connection blossomed between Kiyoshi and her newfound allies, leading them to entrust her with their most coveted bending technique, an ability that would eventually get lost to time by the time we get to know Roku, Aang, and Korra. The name of this technique was Stepping, and it could apply to dust, mist, and fire. Skilled earthbenders used their bending prowess to create incredibly thin pillars of earth, gradually increasing in size as they move upward. These pillars act as their stepping stones, allowing them to ascend vertical surfaces with unparalleled swiftness. The mastery lies in the precision of earthbending. The bender must be in perfect harmony with the earth, ensuring the pillars remain thin enough to support their weight while offering enough stability for the ascent. Avatar Kiyoshi's mastery of dust stepping added a new layer to her already impressive earthbending skills. She used this ability not only for scaling walls swiftly, but also during battles and daring rescues making her an even more formidable force. But why did this ability go by the wayside? It seems dead useful and not particularly difficult to pull off with training. Are we to believe that Kiyoshi and the Flying Opera Company never taught the technique to anyone else? Could it have been something like Lightning Generation, which was sequestered to the royal family? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and check out this video on screen about the other ability Kiyoshi learned from the Opera Company, Immortality. I'll catch you on the next one, and as always, peace, love, and remember, be water, my friends.